you sort of play an NPR-type host on the show. Do you yes. feel like uh, you have a, a wonderful voice for it? Would you like to do a, a, a podcast yourself one day about uh, horrific things? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I would love it. I mean, it's yeah. it's so fun. There's such a fun quality of working but not having to be on camera, I think. You know, just yes. using your voice or doing something like animated film or whatever. It's so interesting. Well, it's, it's a true. different I feel like medium. for like 20 years, it felt like the, the really smart people were the ones who were doing animated film. Because right. that was like three days work on a movie that made hundreds of millions yes. of dollars. And you just like dined out the rest of your life. And That's they're right. like, how'd you buy this house? And you're like, I was a raccoon in a... <laughs> exactly right. I had two lines as a raccoon in a, like, it was like a heist movie with, um, yeah. Um, but you, <laughs> but now I feel like podcast, that's the thing. So you, uh, I feel like, yeah, you got to jump into it now that the I'm world in. knows. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, yeah. but I would, I may, I could, oh, oh, books on tape. You, oh, you want to do that? I could do that. Yeah, definitely. Because I'm not sure if I have anything to say, well, but I can. I mean, you could. You do other people's words. I mean, I feel like if you do a true crime <laughs> podcast, like, you know, you do a little research ahead of time. They don't just, like, give you. They don't just well, like give you a thing and be like, what happened? Uh, explain. I have, to be, I have to be an investigative be, journalist, which is what I really want to do, or like work in the morgue. Okay, gotcha. It's like one or the other. <laughs> you would work in a morgue? I am fascinated by the by the human body, the anatomy. I, I have mean, no issues. I, like, think, I want to right. see the muscles. I hope this isn't a terrible thing, idea. Show me the bones. You yeah. have a podcast. It's, it takes place in a morgue, and it's called uh, Jessica Beale, What's Who's in This Drawer? And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you, uh, and you just talk it through. It's like. Uh, <laughs> Who's gonna finance this? I think anybody will. Can you will. finance this? Yeah, thing? it'll be like those unboxing videos, but it's like, and now. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I am uh, putting You're my hands on the blanket and I'm gonna pull it back and, oh boy, look at that. Uh, <laughs> uh, what you, uh, um, you were talking to me backstage, your son is four and a half? Yeah. Uh, you went to Yellowstone? When did yeah. you do that? We go, let's see, we were there. I think we were there in the summer. Okay, we gotcha. always we, we can, I mean, we go if we can in the winter. And he's, always. is he outdoorsy? Is he taking to the outdoors? Yeah, okay. he loves it. You know, What do little, you guys do? Well, you know, we try to go on a hike, which is yep. about 30 feet down the trail. And yeah. then you turn around, because he did a good job and he found a stick. <laughs> right, like, right. we did it. It's <laughs> so like, yeah, I, he's like, I, well, kids with sticks are basically, especially <laughs> boys, are like, I don't think we're going to beat this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we should go back to the house and see what I can hit with this stick. That's true, exactly. And then, uh, what about skiing? Because your your son's a year old in mine. We're talking about, is this the winter we get him up on skis? Have you tried? Yes, we tried, I think, too early. Okay. He was two or yeah. two and a half. I mean, I've seen Ooh. I've seen videos of two and a half year olds Yes, so have I, not it. my kid. Yeah. Right, right. My kid, he, he just he was just like, what, what, what is this? Yeah. And then you put the skis on and he was like, really? Yeah, right. Seriously? Yeah. I can't even move in this giant... I'm covered in down. I mean, right. he was not excited so, about it. And then I do feel like if you have a bad first experience with something, that will set you back a decade. Yeah, I'm worried. Yeah, mm. I'm a little worried about mine, too. But, of course, the only... I hate skiing. You do? So, yeah, I really do. And I grew up in a skiing family. Um, Why do you hate it? It's just like, I get it. You know? <laughs> you go down. Yeah. You go up. And it's like, all right. You go back down. So there's a place over this, and that building over there has a fire, right? And I can read a book there. All right. See ya. Best of luck. <laughs> um, I get it, too. Yeah. But I love I it. Just, yeah. I love it. You do love it. You I grew love up. It. That's right. You grew up a skier. I did, but I'm a snowboarder and I have been for a long time, and now I have to relearn how to ski. Oh, see, that is another <laughs> Which is fear. hilarious. Yeah, the other thing is... Like, I feel like when your kid, if your kid at some age decides to learn a foreign language, you could say, you know what, I'm going to learn it with him uh -huh. uh, because you will look the same. But, like, when an adult right. is learning to ski with their kids, you look dumb as <laughs> You really do. <laughs> yeah. It is not a good look. Yeah, I feel like the window's closed. It's I'm going to so have to bad. make up a story of, like, Daddy was too good, and they told him he couldn't ski anymore. That's right. Daddy, get off Daddy the mountain. Daddy made everybody else everybody. feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is always so lovely to see you. Congratulations so on the show, and thank you for thank coming you back. So That's much. Jessica Beale, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>